So we're preparing for new equipment installation. We're going to inspect all the uh, concealed supports and ducts that weren't able to be seen before we moved all the equipment. So that'll be like uh, for the air handlers, duct work, is it soaked in water? Is it, uh, <coughs> the supports holding up the platform rotted out? Uh, for the condensers would be, <clears throat> once you remove the old condenser, is the pad actually slipping down? You lift it up and there's a giant hole underneath it. Well, then we have to fill it up, level it, place a new pad or reuse whatever the proposal calls for. Um, other things would be like your package units. Once you remove it, more often than not, the supply and return aren't even connected underneath the home. So we have to go ahead and go underneath, connect them and seal them properly, and then we can get out and start placing the pad, placing the package unit. Uh, rooftop units, we don't mess with those. Um, and then prioritize tasks by difficulty. Uh, just see what you gotta do. It's like, all right, well, what do I want to knock out first? Uh, what's priority? Uh, it's going to be always going to be priorities getting on pressure because everything else can be done. Um, so whatever needs to get done first to get to there, then you can circle back and do what you need to do. That's what I would recommend. New copper lines, uh, insulation. We have the, um, use the, the insulation that comes with it. Don't take all the new insulation out if you're running it through a chase. Um, if you need to, uh, wrap it with duct tape, especially if you're going overhead every time just to help prevent it from uh, scraping up and tearing. But as soon as it gets out of the chase, rip out all that insulation and throw in that Titan Flex stuff, the UV resistant stuff, and then put some foam tape around it to seal it so it's not uh, dripping down. Correct mindset. Uh, it's happened before, especially with mini splits. <clears throat> Grab the wrong one, something happens. When you open up that line set, check the nuts. <laughs> Make sure they're the right size before you unroll the whole thing. And then have to go the attic. Yeah. yeah. Or have it ran through the attic and have that wrong size with you. It's a lot harder pulling it out than yeah. it's pushing it. Yeah. Or if, let's say, you know, for whatever reason, like it happened to us the other day, uh, you had seven eighths, you ran seven eighths the whole line. And then uh, the condenser was inch and, uh, inch and an eighth. You have inch and an eighth right here. Oh, you don't want to do that. No? No. no. Inch and an eighth. Uh, eighth. You want a bad day, push inch and an eighth. No, no, no. I'm not saying pushing it. I'm saying cut off a piece. Oh. No. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the transition to the line set you're saying. So you don't yeah. have to yeah, yeah. to the port. Yeah. <laughs> Close the lines by soldering them. We do this every time, whenever we're going through the chase. Um, all you're gonna do is just push the uh, liquid line inside the suction line, crimp it with some channel locks, raise it shut. That way nothing gets in there. And then you can use the old communication wire to pull it through the chase. It's a lot easier. Uh, it's the whole reason you see any dirt and stuff in it. And then whenever you're going through the attic, you're, you're gonna strap it up every five feet or every other truss, and then just to help keep it up off the ground so no one's stepping on it, crushing it. Run the piping with square and neat angles. Um, if we're already going through the chase and we already have the hole open, we might as well bury the line set. It, it's not gonna take much work at all, and it's gonna be a lot better. Um, really, you wanna take it off at, if you have the space, um, depending on if there's a wall, or a giant bush, you never know. Um, sometimes you, you need the 12 inches of space from the house to the back of the unit, but you're not always gonna get that. Um, just try to position the copper in a way that you can uh, get that space to bury it on the ground, 90 up, and then go straight in. Um, as close as possible, just so that <clears throat> it's not in any danger of getting damaged. Uh, Fire and protect insulation, copper and line equipment, UV. Uh, the UV is just going to be that Titan Flex, that shiny insulation. And the corrugated piping is just to help it with weed whackers, uh, lawnmower, anything. A lot of those guys aren't paying attention. You drive through the villages, you smell the weed on them, they're high. <laughs> they're not paying attention all the time. They're going to hit that line. Seal the chase pipe outdoors. That's just going to be spray foam. Um, you don't have to go crazy with it. You don't need three feet of spray foam in the chase. Just a small, a small bit is going to expand to go a long way. 
just to help get uh, like rats, roaches, all that stuff in there, or not getting them in there. Follow long line specs, but copper runs exceeding 50 feet. Um, that has to do with like oil and stuff like that. Yeah, like the liquid lime solenoid. <clears throat> I'm sorry? Liquid lime solenoid. Yes. But that's usually, I think, 100 feet. Yeah, we don't run into that too often in residential. Um, so one thing I would say, um, getting back to um, preparing the equipment, like Kevin said, when we're doing package units, what came to mind is last week with Gills, um, did a package unit. Again, we can only see sales guys, service guys, they can only see what they are hooking up to, right? They're not seeing the inside of the ductwork, they're not seeing the inside of the plenums. So those are things we, as installers, have the responsibility that we have to assess when we get there. Gil got there, ripped the system out immediately. I mean, do you want to kind of tell what you saw? It was just valance, like supply and return, and they were, there was a bunch of them. So we got to replace it. Right, so instead of hooking up and say, well, you know, that's a, that's a you problem, he got in contact with, you know, with Steve, got the price, hey, what are we talking about to add, coordinated with the property manager, this is what's going on here, we can still do it, gave him the options, we don't recommend just leaving it, they approved it, then Gil left the job site, went and got the duct work, came back, did the whole job plus the duct work, uh, again, that, I mean, that's, that's top tier, that's absolutely delivering that simply great service. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.